throughout our life, our teeth will go through a series of developmental stages, somewhere in between their late teens and early twenties. The majority of people develop a third set of molars, which are known as wisdom teeth. These are the final set of teeth which will emerge in our lives, and whilst they're growing, they can be a source of significant discomfort and pain. There is also the potential for ongoing problems, and this is why it is sometimes recommended that we have our wisdom teeth removed as soon as they have erupted. In the following exploration, we're going to be looking at whether or not you should have your wisdom teeth extracted. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're passionate about knowledge and learning. We have so much more content lined up for you. Generally, it is believed that wisdom teeth were once essential to humans for their survival. The diets of the earliest humans consisted of roots, leaves, meat and nuts, but contemporary humans eat food which has been extensively prepared through roasting, steaming, chopping and boiling. This means that wisdom teeth are no longer as necessary as they once were, and according to anthropologists, we have evolved beyond needing wisdom teeth. This explains why some peoples never erupt. Still, our genetics mean that many of us will grow wisdom teeth, and one study discovered that more than 50% of people have at least one wisdom tooth. In reality, wisdom teeth should only be removed if they are actually causing problems, or if they are likely to in the future. The truth is that there are no scientifically proven benefits to having your wisdom teeth removed for no reason. As a matter of fact, having your wisdom teeth extracted can be an unpleasant and painful experience with uncomfortable side effects. It is recommended that you should not have your wisdom teeth extracted if your teeth are healthy and there is no tooth decay or gum inflammation, they have erupted properly, they are positioned in a way which doesn't impact the functioning of any neighboring teeth, and they are located in a place which you can clean easily. When it comes to deciding whether or not you should have your extraction, it should depend on if they are presently causing problems or if they have a high chance of causing them in the future. For example, wisdom teeth which don't break through are referred to as impacted, and in some cases they can lead to pain, swelling, tooth decay or inflamed gums. Wisdom teeth may also partially erupt, which can make oral hygiene particularly difficult and result in the accumulation of bacteria and development of painful oral cavities. Even when your wisdom teeth do erupt completely, there may not be enough room for them as they could move, damage and destroy the roots of neighboring teeth. There are other generalized problems as well, such as pain in the area of the wisdom tooth, cysts and infections, as well as gum inflammation and uncomfortable tumors. If any of these scenarios apply, then it is definitely recommended that your wisdom teeth are extracted as soon as possible. If you are considering having your wisdom teeth removed, however, then you should do it as soon as they have erupted. The reason for this is that because once several years have passed, your bone tissues have completely formed, the teeth become difficult to extract, and the healing process will take much longer. Whenever you have your wisdom teeth extracted, Extracted, you'll probably find that your mouth and cheeks will be swollen and it will be hard to open your mouth fully for several hours. There will also be some pain right after the procedure, but it doesn't typically last long. Wisdom teeth are usually taken out under local anesthesia, which is when numbing medication is injected into the gums around the tooth. General anesthesia may be required in more complex procedures, for example, if the wisdom tooth is located close to a nerve or if it is particularly badly impacted. After the procedure, many people will take a general painkiller. It is also recommended that you hold an ice pack to your cheek to reduce swelling, avoid smoking cigarettes or drinking hot beverages or fruit juices, and stay away from any hard or crunchy foods that could cause issues. It's also advised that you should avoid any strenuous or demanding physical activities like sports or even going to the sauna for the first few days. This applies even if you're feeling considerably better because it could affect the healing process. As far as having your wisdom teeth extracted is concerned, it's always advised to go to your dentist on a regular basis so that you can maintain your oral health and hygiene. Your dentist will also be able to identify any potential problems or concerns before they occur, especially when it comes to your wisdom teeth. If they decide that it would be better to have your wisdom teeth removed, then the earlier the procedure is done, the better. If your teeth are otherwise healthy, then it is best to leave your wisdom teeth as they are. We hope that you found this informative and interesting, and if you did, then please like, share and subscribe to this channel for even more fascinating facts.